finally, we're going to Niagara Falls. This is our first trip in Canada. We decided to take the GO train and then change to another bus. It takes around two something hours to get to the main area, the touristic area in Niagara Falls. I think the worst part is probably like we basically stood for the whole trip um, because a lot of people are going there. Summer is definitely the peak period for people to go there. We decided not to stay for two days and it turns out to be good enough for us. This is where we get off the bus and that's the fall. Let's go. So many people. That one is already coming back. Oh, the wild angle is so good for this. Really, really good. That's the boat that we're gonna take. Close to the fall. So this one, this one is a Canadian boat, and the blue one is the U.S. boat. So yeah, that's how they travel to it. So this bridge. The other side is already U.S. there. U.S. of A. Yeah, we're one bridge away. So, it's really cool. Full of people. Yeah. Here we are. So, we're close. It's not too bad. Actually, not too bad, right? No, I think we're already almost on the boat. We're almost on the boat. I thought it was, there were a lot of people, but obviously it's not that bad. It's not that bad. How do they call it? Miss what? Miss Poncho. Miss Poncho. So they will give you this for free. No, well, you pay for it, but. Trust me, it's now, After getting on the boat, it just got a bit chaotic at one point because it was so humid, like a lot of water, it's like you're taking a shower or something. So we didn't really record like how it ends, but after that we just go straight to Clifton Hill. It's a super, super touristic um, area in uh, Niagara Falls. You can find a lot of games, restaurants, um, entertainment. You wanna go to that cafe there. maybe? Rainforest Cafe? However, every single place that you go in, you will need to pay for the entertainment there. Um, sometimes it's like $6 per person, sometimes $7 per person, sometimes $12 per person. So if you really want to try out some of the entertainments there, I would highly recommend you to get the pass, which costs you $35 and cover some specific places, including the ferry wheel. After we had lunch there, we just found a random place and then we just go straight to a winery that we booked like a week ago. Um, it's a really nice place, you will see. So this is the winery that we went. It's so nice. It's really big. It's like a mansion. They changed it into like a, like a winery business. We booked their True to Our Route winery tour, which also include like uh, four wine tasting, and it's just thirty five dollars per person. I think it's a really nice experience. This is a very important thing. So there will be a wedding here. So they're doing something, but. It's just really impressive, I have to say. So this is the graveyard, or graves. Oh, 
these are white wines. Because it's uh, green grapes, right? Yeah, like green grapes. Yeah. Weather is really nice, and these are all, all of these are like, can't really show on the camera, but it's the, the whole field are grapes, basically. Yeah, I can put it. So we're here in the maple leaf place. What does that mean? Honestly, the only place we planned was uh, Clifton Hill, the falls, the cruise and also the winery so anything else that you see here was just us randomly walk around and found Like a temple, basically. It's quite pretty, though. Yeah, definitely. Wait a second, let me just. Cover a trail. Really pretty, actually. We're back here again after the winery. The roller coaster, Frankenstein. Here, believe it or not. Theme park. Oh, oh my god, I missed it. What did you miss? It got like fire out from the volcano. Oh, really? Is it gonna happen again? Well, no. So basically, this is the end of our trip. We went back home by bus at around 7 something, 8 something. Uh, we plan to come again in October, so we didn't really do anything in Clifton Hill. But anyway, um, we'll see you soon later. Bye!